you come and stay with me, you will have plenty to eat and a soft feather bed to sleep on. Yes, I would like that," said Country Mouse. Town Mouse and Country Mouse set off. It was getting dark as they made their way along the busy streets. The bright lights and tramping feet frightened Country Mouse. At last, they. Reached the big house where Town Mouse lived. Country Mouse followed Town Mouse down a long hallway, under a door, and into the kitchen. Country Mouse could smell something delicious, and he began to feel better at once. He climbed onto the table with Town Mouse, and there before him was so much food that he felt very excited. He had just stared to nibble, started to nibble some pasty cheese when the door opened, and in came the cook. Quiet. Hide," whispered Town Mouse, as he dashed for safe, sa- safety. Mm-hmm. Crash! Bang! The cook rattled some pots and pans. Mice," she said. "Mice have been eating the cheese." I am going to have to set a trap. Country Mouse crawl, crouched behind a jug. When the cook had gone, Country Mouse looked around for his cousin. He couldn't see him anywhere. A stop videotaping.